What's up, Pumpers? Jerome here with another classic WoW video. Today, we're going to be talking about 10 different Season of Mastery tips that I wish I knew back when I started playing Classic WoW. Before we get started, please hit that like button, hit the subscription button, and that notification bell. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep making videos like this one. The first tip I wanted to talk about is the interact with target hotkey. This is something that is criminally underrated in Classic and Season of Mastery as well. This is basically, it simulates a right click. So in the keybinds and targeting section, you can set a hotkey that will essentially simulate a right click from your keyboard. So you could make, for example, a target macro and then press the interact with target and boom, now you're already right clicking the, the target. So for example, let's say you're, you're trying to target a flight master and there's 50 people on top of them. Well, you can interact with target and easily target the flight master. This also will be great at the start of battlegrounds. Everybody's gonna be doing battlegrounds. You can target the battle master really easily. Pretty much any high intensity, high octane area, auction house, bank, anywhere where there's gonna be a million people blocking your, your way. There's a bunch of different uses for interact with target. For example, you can target auctioneer Jackson through the wall in the Stormwood auction house and not even go inside to use the auction house. You can do similar things uh, with innkeepers as there's a TBC example, of course, with the Aldor Inn as well, where you can target the innkeeper and interact with target outside of the wall and set your hearthstone outside. There's a bunch of different uses for interact with target. Really, really, really awesome thing to do, especially when Flight Masters are going to be so overcrowded. Battle Masters, every quest NPC. This is definitely something you're going to want to set up. Next up, we have a tip that seemingly everybody forgets about, but is really, really, really powerful. Basically, AoE point blank AoE spells have a two larger AoE radius if you're moving or strafing. That's pretty much any direction except backwards, also jumping as well. So basically, if you're moving in a direction forward, sideways, or jumping, you will get two bigger AoE radius. Of course, there's a, a whole big book to get into on melee leeway as well, but I just wanted to cover point blank AoE. Holy Novas, Blast Waves, Sapper Charges, practically anything point blank AoE in Classic. This is a really, really, really useful trick because of all the world PvP in Classic as well, and there are PvE uses as well. Basically, if you're in a giant world PvP fight and you have two larger AoE radius, you're just gonna do way more damage. Your CC, for example, on a warrior is gonna hit more people. It's a win-win, really, really, really powerful and something basically nobody thinks about. Next up is Noggin Foggers. These are absolutely ridiculous in Classic WoW. So many reasons to use them. The slow fall is amazing on demand. You're also gonna be way smaller if you use them, so harder to click on you, harder to get to you. And of course, don't forget, it's another buff that has to be dispelled. If you're in a war song, for example, or world PvP, having a bunch of buffs is really good in classic because people are gonna try to purge you all day and night. And a weird interaction that you probably wanna look into yourself as well is the leeway adjustments with Noggin Fogger. So this will reduce melee leeway against you. So basically, if people are trying to attack you, they'll have to be closer to reach you, which makes you really, really, really gonna wanna have these for war song, for example. It's just harder to attack you, harder to click you, and of course the slow fall is amazing, a free buff, must have. Everybody should do the Noggin Fogger quest ASAP. Another tip I wanted to talk about is the water and portals idea. So basically this applies to pretty much anything in Classic, but think about what was useful at the start of Classic and try to do that early. So for example, a lot of people made a lot of gold being water and portal vendors in the original Classic in Kargath, for example, on Horde. Now, obviously, they're going to be summoning stones, so this is going to be a little less useful, but still, people are going to want water. They're going to want travel around Classic. Travel in Classic is so difficult, so frustrating, in a good way, but I think mages are going to be really, really, really printing a lot of gold, especially if you're willing to put the time in and sit there a long time, selling portals, selling water, find a location. Orgrimmar works, a big city works, Kargath will probably still work. Another tip that might work would be to set up in front of important summoning stones and then sell food and water outside of those summoning stones. I bet a lot of groups are gonna want food and water that won't have them. And boom, you could be making some easy gold selling to five different people. I think that's a pretty good idea. Next up, we have the mailbox for storage tip. This is something everybody preached in Classic that was good at Classic. If you're good and serious about your Classic gameplay in Season of Mastery, you're gonna wanna use a mailbox for storage and of course, old accounts for storage as well. So basically, your character is going to be filled to the brim with soul bind items you cannot part with. These are must-have items you're gonna need for the entirety of Classic. 
and you're gonna have to do something to get all your raid supplies because you're gonna have to have so many different potions and consumables so basically what you do is each week when you get your raid consumables you mail them to yourself and so you mail them to an alt and then boom you mail them back immediately and this will allow them to sit in the mailbox for a really long time the second your raid starts boom you open up your mailbox and empty out all your raid consumables another tip in the same vein here will be to use a bunch of different alts to put all your different potions and different consumables and different supplies really really good idea to do this keep yourself organized and theoretically mail should be instant just like it was in tpc and so these alts will be a really really good idea this next tip is something you're absolutely going to love if you're a world pvp -er in classic and season of mastery if you enter the deep run tram as a ghost you will resurrect automatically and this is really awesome if you're doing world pvp for example and classic is well known for world pvp you're probably going to want to do this trick all the time it's a great way to sneak into stormwind or ironforge you can just ride your way into stormwind and then die and then boom you ghost run into the tram and now you're in ironforge deep in ironforge or deep in stormwind and nobody even knows you're there really really awesome for world pvp especially if you're getting camped as well cannot recommend this tip as enough it is a really nice saver in classic if you go in rfc or stockades or any dungeon really you can budget hearth using a command i'm going to put the macro on the screen now also just keep in mind you can do the same thing by inviting yourself to anybody's party even if they don't accept the party invite the server will be delayed and de rejecting the invite and so you can leave their party even though you haven't joined it technically while the server is still processing it so this this the macro does the same thing you could just find somebody in molten core for example invite them the server won't update for a couple seconds and you can just leave their party boom now you're budget hearthing and you're traveling back to Kargath, for example a really 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 good way to move around the game world next up we have some really game breaking items in classic that nobody seems to talk about of course we've got the skull of impending doom which is taking over tbc arenas and is way better in classic a must-have for world pvp or war song for example i'd even say great for raids and speed runs. of course we've got things like the nifty stopwatch as well for movement movement is super important in classic everybody goes really slowly around the game world being able to catch up to people is really awesome speaking of movement the azure silk belt is amazing 15 percent faster swim speed and you can bet that's going to come into play, especially for Molten Core Attunement, for example. You're going to be swimming all over the dang place. Really, really good. Speaking of belts, the Spider Belt, oh my goodness, gets you out of roots, makes you feel like a gnome. Really, really, really good against mages. I cannot recommend it enough. Game break, especially if you're a warrior. Breaking that root, breaking that Nova is huge. And the mage is always shocked, or whoever roots you is always going to be shocked and probably immediately die. One criminally underrated item I think everyone overlooks is the Discombobulator Ray. This thing is a guaranteed dismount. You can run it from your inventory, for example. Insanely, insanely good. Highly recommend using the Discombobulator Ray. Always carry one. All the serious PvPers know this, and you should know it as well. My final tip relates to all the items we're talking about just now, which is to get things early. The earlier you get items like Arena Grandmaster or Title Charm or the Nifty Stopwatch or the Discombobulator Rays, for example, you stock up on it, or the Skull of Impending Doom, the more use you're going to get, the more value you're going to get. You don't want to be the guy getting an Arena Grandmaster two days before the season ends. You want to get these items early and put them to constant use. Imagine the thousands of uses of Arena Grandmaster you might get throughout the season if you get it a couple days into the season compared to if you get it like maybe four or five months in you're just gonna get way less value these really awesome items like nifty stopwatch you should get them early your character's just always gonna have an advantage over everybody you see and this is the kind of thing you need to think about imagine getting a bre day one for example if you're in a guild with dkp you gotta put everything in put everything on getting those early powerful items because you don't know when you're gonna get them next and the value only goes down later on you want to get stuff early and use it as much as possible. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what you're looking forward to most in Season of Mastery. I will read everything and respond to everything. Thank you so much for watching and remember to have a great day.